Let's learn about different types of operating system. Windows. Windows is the most widely used operating system in the world created by Microsoft. It was first released in 1985 as Windows 1.0. Initially, it served merely as a graphical interface running on top of MS-DOS. Everything appeared very basic at the beginning, but over time, it evolved into a complete operating system with major versions such as Windows 95, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 10, and now Windows 11. What makes Windows stand out is its flexibility and broad compatibility. It can run on almost any PC or laptop brand and supports various computing purposes. From hardcore gaming and office work to programming. Windows also features a user-friendly interface, making it accessible for beginners. However, Windows has its downsides too. Its difficult system requirements can make older or weaker hardware run slowly. It is also infamous for frequent updates. Though intended to enhance performance, they often feel intrusive and can even result in an endless Windows update loop. Security is another concern. Being the most widely used OS makes Windows a prime target for viruses and malware. And, of course, there's the legendary blue screen of death, a problem that has existed since Windows 1.0. Mac OS Mac OS, introduced by Apple in 2001, is the operating system designed for Mac computers. Unlike Windows, which operates across various PC brands, Mac OS is exclusive to Apple devices such as MacBooks and iMacs. This tight control over both hardware and software makes Mac OS highly stable, smooth, and well-optimized. It is especially favored by creative professionals like video editors, graphic designers, and musicians, thanks to Apple's powerful built-in apps like Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and GarageBand. One of Mac OS's biggest benefits is its ability to sync seamlessly with other Apple devices like iPhones and iPads. Messages, calls, and files all integrate effortlessly. Additionally, it avoids frequent forced updates and random crashes, and its battery life tends to last longer. Despite these strengths, Mac OS has its drawbacks. It runs only on Apple hardware, forcing users to invest in expensive devices, which can be a deal-breaker for budget-conscious buyers. Gaming is another weakness. Mac OS lacks support for DirectX and powerful GPUs. Also, some professional software isn't available or only exists in limited versions. Linux Linux, unlike Windows or Mac OS, isn't a single operating system, but a family of operating systems called distributions, distros. It was created in 1991 by Linus Torvalds, a Finnish software engineer, who aimed to develop a free, open-source alternative to other systems. Unlike Windows, which requires high system specs, or the costly Mac OS hardware, Linux is lightweight, secure, and runs on less expensive or even older hardware. This makes it ideal for high-performance servers. Being open-source, anyone can modify it or create their own version, resulting in many distros. Some are meant for everyday users, like Ubuntu and Fedora, while others like CentOS and Debian are tailored for servers and professionals. These capabilities make Linux widely used in programming, cybersecurity, and server management, even major systems used by Google, Facebook, and NASA run on Linux servers. However, Linux isn't beginner-friendly. Its interface is very different from Windows and Mac OS, and many distros depend on text-based commands rather than graphical menus. Another issue is software compatibility. Most mainstream apps and games are built for Windows or Mac OS, so users often have to find alternatives. That's why Linux is usually preferred by experts. Chrome OS Chrome OS, developed by Google and first released in 2011, is a lightweight, cloud-based operating system. Unlike Windows or Mac OS, which require software to be installed directly on the computer, Chrome OS is designed to function primarily online, ideal for users who mainly browse, stream, and use web apps. It comes pre-installed on Chromebooks, which are affordable and fast laptops suited for school and office tasks. 
Chrome OS starts up in seconds, updates automatically in the background, and is highly secure. Because most work is saved on Google servers, there's less risk of malware or system damage. It also supports Android apps through the Google Play Store, making it more versatile than a basic browser. Still, Chrome OS has limitations. Since it's internet dependent, it doesn't function well without a strong connection. It lacks support for many full desktop applications like complete versions of Adobe Photoshop or professional video editing tools. Chromebooks aren't great for high-end gaming unless you use a cloud gaming service like GeForce Now, which again, depends on fast internet. Heavy multitasking, like editing videos while running Photoshop, is nearly impossible. Android Android, an open-source operating system developed by Google, is the world's most widely used mobile OS. It is adopted by many brands, including Samsung, Xiaomi, and others. A notable feature of Android is its customizability. You can change themes, install third-party launchers, and adjust nearly every system aspect, unlike iOS's restricted interface. It also features the Google Play Store, which provides access to millions of apps and games. Android supports both budget-friendly phones and powerful flagship models. However, Android has its issues. Not all devices receive regular updates, which can cause performance and security problems on older models. Another common issue is bloatware, pre-installed apps that can't be removed. Although Android is powerful, it's typically less optimized than iOS, so some apps may run less smoothly compared to iPhones. iOS iOS developed by Apple is the operating system that powers iPhones and iPads. Unlike Android, which is open source and used by various brands iOS is exclusive to Apple giving the company complete control over its devices. iOS devices are known for stability and long-term software support. Even older iPhones receive updates for many years. The App Store offers a carefully curated selection of apps, and many developers prefer launching apps on iOS first due to its strict security and a user base more likely to spend. The Apple ecosystem also allows seamless integration between devices like iPhones, iPads, MacBooks, and Apple Watches. But iOS has its disadvantages. It's highly restrictive, users can't customize their home screens freely, install apps from outside the App Store, or easily transfer files unless using Apple's ecosystem. iPhones also lack expandable storage and a headphone jack. Plus, Apple tends to reuse the same design and features across multiple iPhone generations. Unix Unix is one of the oldest operating systems and laid the foundation for many modern systems. Developed in the late 1960s at Bell Labs by AT&T, it was designed as a multi-user, multitasking OS for servers and high-end computing. Unlike today's popular systems, Unix is not meant for everyday users. It's mostly used in corporate servers, banking infrastructure, and scientific research. For example, the National Weather Service uses Unix-based systems to process and manage enormous volumes of meteorological data for weather forecasts. However, Unix installations are very expensive, costing $1,447 per user. That means for a large company, with 250 users a full deployment could exceed $350,000. BSD BSD, Berkeley Software Distribution, is a family of operating systems that originated from Unix and was developed at the University of California, Berkeley in the 1970s. Unlike commercial operating systems, BSD is typically used by tech experts for servers, networking, and embedded systems, not by everyday users on laptops or desktops. Examples of BSD-based systems include the PlayStation 4 and 5, Netflix's content delivery network, and firewalls like PFSense and OpenSense. BSD is favored for its efficient resource management and its ability to handle intensive workloads. There are several versions of BSD including FreeBSD, OpenBSD, and NetBSD.